Hey, how's it hanging, folks? It's your rat daddy here, and today I am going to be answering the age-old question that you guys have loved to ask me ever since I've been doing uh, army videos and things like that in RimWorld. You guys are always asking me, Rat Knight, how do you spawn in with more than 10 pawns? The game won't let me. It's impossible for me to do. Well, today, my friends, of course, as I mentioned, I am answering that for you. Now, to really get us started here with this, I'm going to show you the mods I'm using just so you know that there's nothing too crazy here so we have character editor muzzle flash yada 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 you can see there's nothing here that's going to add really <laughs> any more than 10 pawns unfortunately uh, so you might be a little bit confused but we're gonna go ahead and start a new colony we will do crash landed uh, we'll edit the scenario so this is how most people will try to do it naturally so you would try to choose I'm gonna try to type uh, we'll type 20 you can't tell, but I'm trying to type, or I was going to type 30, I guess. But anyhow, it changes to 10 automatically, and you're probably thinking to yourself, Oh, God, blimey. Oh, <laughs> oh, shit, it's not, it doesn't work, right? Right, it doesn't. Not from here, at least. So that's, it's not possible to do from the menu. So we're going to go ahead and just get started with a normal planet. I'm going to go ahead and get rid of the faction so it doesn't take very long to load. And I'm going to show you the way. There's two different ways, at least, that I know of and that I've done to get more than 10 pawns when starting. Now, you're not going to be able to do it from the menu, um, which means, of course, that, you know, when you do land, you're not actually going to have some... But we'll just check, uh, choose a random place there. So, you know, when you actually start, you're not going to have those pawns. You're only going to have um, a few of them. So you're only going to have whatever the amount is, 10, we'll say, for example, because that is the, um, you know, that's the limit, basically, with, uh, with the menu there. So we're going to go ahead and let them drop on in. And as you can see, we have our three pawns. We are going to go, I've done that a little fast, so I'll show you again. You want to go down to menu options everyone normally knows where dev mode is but if you don't this is dev mode development mode and this is going to allow you to basically do anything you want it's kind of like a god mode in RimWorld. so you can turn on the toggle god mode here there's this which is the open debug actions menu so you can actually go here um, you can look for it down here anywhere you like but if you go up to the search bar and simply type spawn you can spawn many many things but one of the things that you can spawn is a pawn and you can actually choose colonist, which is going to allow you to add random colonist, I know, crazy, to your colony. So now we have a total of 19, and you can continue doing this until your little computer just completely gives out. That's, <laughs> and they work perfectly. They will actually normally just kind of spawn with the exact same type of gear that any other colonist is going to spawn with when you get them, which is pretty ideal for most people, what you're wanting to do and that kind of thing. Um, you know, if you're just wanting to do it in kind of like a vanilla Rim World setting, this is perfect for you. However, if you're doing some custom characters that may have modded apparel or something, I don't think I have anything installed, but say you're doing some custom characters like that, um, you can also use dev mode if you don't want to use mods. If you don't want to be a big, disgusting, silly cheater boy like myself, you can actually use dev mode to um, put them like certain clothing. So you can actually like spawn uh, there's weapons, there's apparel, say I wanted, I don't know, a burka. I wanted somebody to wear a burka. I can spawn it in like that. Now, the problem is with this burka, though. When you use this uh, to do a burka, I'll show you some examples. If you're wanting a very specific one, you're going to have to spawn many because it's going to spawn them randomly with their material. Uh, so let's say, for example, you want a cloth one that looks like this. However, you don't want it to be legendary. You're going to be sitting here for quite a while trying to do that, especially if you're doing multiple pawns. So uh, instead of doing it through dev mode and whatnot, something that I tend to do is maybe I have Swish here or whatever the name is. I'm going to take them in the character editor menu down here. I'm going to save them on, we'll just do it over 19. I don't know who Roxy is. And we will go ahead and spawn. Now, this is an exact carbon copy of the character that we just saved. Uh, and, you know, you can edit them. So you can actually come up here if you want their appearance and whatnot to be different. You can click on the show pawn creation buttons and extended functions. And you could just respawn them, basically. Make them extremely you know, random for their looks and whatnot. Come through here, hit alt uh, on your keyboard, hold alt and force them to drop everything. Uh, now they're butt-ass naked, of course, but you can actually come through and equip anything you want, like that burka. 
We want a cloth burka, right? And we want it to be, we don't want it to be legendary because it's kind of OP. We want it to be normal, right? We'll, we'll do that. So, and you can actually, you know, I think the other one there, it's kind of more of a brownish gray looking color, if I'm not mistaken. Maybe it's just the sky, but <laughs> you can actually come here and click on this and change the color. And this does not change the material. This looks like a yellow, like a golden yellow burka, yet it's still made of cloth, right? So uh, that's the beauty of character editor. You can do that. And I mean, basically, if we wanted to, you would have to do every individual character. But I mean, you know, especially say you're going to do this like I do for YouTube, a series, uh, streaming, whatever. You know, you're probably going to want to individually create these characters anyhow. Uh, you know, and equip them and things like that. Or if you're just playing by yourself, you're going to want to do that too. So you can basically spawn in the same way as many as you like. Um, you know, or you could always do like a combination of the two. You could do a combination of character editor and the god mode in dev mode where you spawn random pawns and maybe use character editor to equip them. Uh, that's kind of what I do for videos and things like that. It's very, very useful, helps out a lot. But yeah, if you also do something, maybe uh, an idea like I do with most of my videos for like the army videos and they all kind of look like clones and stuff like that, um, this is perfect as well um, because, you know, I mean, they're quite literally identical. <laughs> but you can always change their traits and everything with character editor, which, you know, obviously is very ideal. Uh, so this is how I do it, though. I will use a combination of dev mode to spawn in just random colonists you know you can go here colonist spawn them in as many as you like and use character editor to edit them now something if you wanted to say for example you're like well I don't want to cheat I don't want to use mods and have that available you can always do this you can save you can click to save save your colony that you've made with all these people in it and then you can go back to the, we'll go back to the main menu. You can go to the mod menu and take character editor out if you would like. And then just save and apply changes and you can reload that colony. And you're good to go, man. Uh, you know, no more character editor and you got all those sweet ass people that you like. <laughs> so that's all you have to do. Uh, this is very quick and rough tutorial, but I know I always get asked this. Um, so I just thought maybe I'd go ahead and make it. Um, uh, last few months we've been making some character editor tutorial ish videos anyway so uh, you know this kind of fits the fits the bill for that too so I thought that might be fun but uh <laughs> that's just uh just a quick little tutorial on how to do that I hope you guys have enjoyed and I hope that helps you man I know I get so many comments about that people are always wondering how I start with more than 10 colonists and uh, the truth is I don't <laughs> I start with probably one and I will customly make uh, the other ones by spawning them in and using character editor. So, but I hope that helps you and I hope that answers any queries that you may have. If you have any other comments or questions about that stuff, leave them in the comment section. I'll try to help you guys out. I love you ever so much. I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.